Okay, so we're ready for our internal wiring uh, process. Um, this is a little in depth. Um, you got a lot of deep pinning to do. Um, I highly recommend uh, taking pictures of the wire locations, or you can draw you a map. Uh, just make sure you know, you know, which way the plug is oriented. Um, otherwise, you can uh, repin the wires backwards. I've done it. Um, also, on the throttle by wire, uh, you're going to have six wires on it. I'll show you in detail. Um, but there's two red, two black, and two white. Uh, the two different groups are in a yellow sleeve and a black sleeve, so we want to make sure that we have that oriented correctly. Um, so we'll go over taking the uh, switch housings off, uh, taking the grips off, deep in the wires, and uh, pulling the wires out, and then we'll go into loading them into the new bars. All right, first thing I like to do is deep in everything. Um, this plug here, it's got a little kind of yellow plastic insert. Um, it's got two holes in it. You can grab those with a set of needle nose. Um, they may have to be, you know, a really skinny, pointy set of needle nose to get down in there. But just grab it, give it a good pinch. And that whole thing will come out. Same thing on the other one. Give it a good pinch. Pop it right out. Throttle by wire, same thing. All right, so on the throttle by wire, this is what I was saying. You've got six wires, two red, two white, two black. You got a group of three in a yellow sleeve, a group of three in a black sleeve. So when you're taking your pictures, just make sure you know, make sure you can see that black sleeve in the picture and the orientation of the plug. On the yellow sleeve, make sure the yellow's in the picture and the orientation of the plug. If you get them backwards, as soon as you fire the bike up, it's going to read full throttle. So it's just going to whoa. So just make sure you pay attention there. All right. Inside of this plug here, for each wire, there is a little bitty tab. You're going to, I like to use a small flathead screwdriver. Um, you know, if you're desperate, you can use a paper clip, um, but just something small with a flat edge, preferably. But the tiny little clips in there, it's like a door. You're going to lift up on the door. I don't know that you can see it. Uh, it's pretty, pretty small, but you're going to lift up on the door and pull the wire out at the same time. So grab, grab the back side of the wire, flat head in, it'll pull right out of the back. Same thing for every one of them. We're going to continue to do this until all of our wires are depinned. Another option on this, if you just don't want to deal with depinning them, you can always just cut the wires, you know, maybe leave about three or four inches. Uh, away from the plug, cut them, pull them through the bar, solder them back together. Um, I think that route is harder, but some people just don't like dealing with the pinning and the depinning. All right, we got all the left side done. I'm going to switch over to the throttle side. Um, throttle side switch harness. It's the exact same process. Just make sure you got good pictures of the wire locations. and the plug orientation. And I'm just going to keep doing that until all of them are depinned. All right, now we got all of our throttle side switch harness. Now we're going to move on to the throttle by wire. Same thing with it. Just make sure you got good pictures um, of the sleeves and the wire orientations with the plug. Same type of disassembly. A little door clips. A little pressure. Pull out. 
a little pressure out. Just keep going until they're all removed. All right, now we're going to disassemble our uh, switch housings, um, remove them from the bar, slide the grips out, and pull our electrical harnesses out of the bar. If this is a stock setup, um, if it's a non-CVO, your wiring will be external, um, so you won't have to pull your wires out of the bar. Uh, you'll simply just disassemble the, the switch housings, and they'll be able to remove freely. All right, these are Torx 25. Got one up top and then one kind of down low. It's a little clamshell set up. Slide your grip off and just kind of let them hang freely. All right, same thing on the other side. One up top. One down low. Open them up, slide your grip off. All right, for this part, you can put your bars in a vise. Uh, we like to just put them in our lap. Uh, if you see us at an event, um, that's how you'll see us doing it. But um, start with the clutch side. Just kind of back feed the wires out of here. All right. Go to the throttle side. I like to do the throttle by wire first. Doesn't really matter. that out of the way. All right, now our switch harness. Also, don't just jerk these out uh, if they are internally wired. Um, if they're external, it's not a big deal, but kind of want to feed them through the slot and then pull them out of the slot in the handle. ready to start loading them in our new bars. All right, so this is how your bars will come when we ship them to you. I don't recommend uh, taking the foam off unless you see, you know, visual damage from shipping. You know, if the foam looks like it's been tore or it's been rubbed, then you can undo the foam and inspect it. Our quality control standards are really, really high uh, as far as what goes out the door um, with the finish. Um, so. We try to make sure that you know the bars are in good shape so that when you get them and you're ready to do the install process, you don't have to unwrap them. Um, so what we'll do though is we'll tear off small section so that we can get to the handle. Just wanna be able to access this slot here. Same thing on the other side. And then the same thing in the middle here. Just gonna tear this open just a little bit more. All right, <clears throat> so we're gonna blow us a string uh, through the bar. I like to th start with the throttle side. So we'll blow our string through and then we'll tape it off to our pull wire, which is a 12 gauge copper stranded wire. Um, we've taken every recommendation that anyone's ever given us, tried it. Uh, this is the one tool that um, you know, we've, we've found to be the most consistent. 
uh, as far as getting your, your harnesses through the bar. Uh, that's going to be about a six foot section of 12 gauge copper stranded wire. Uh, you can get it at Home Depot, Lowe's, hardware store. We're going to blow it from the slot to the bottom slot out the end of the handle. <clears throat> I like to keep a little pressure on it or a little tension on it before you hit the air. All right, so we got our string through. Uh, you can tape off uh, to the string or you can just kind of tie a knot in the string. Just cinch it to the pull wire. Now we're gonna feed our pull wire through the bar. We're gonna go all the way through until you have about an inch, inch and a half sticking out of the bottom slot. Just like that. Okay, so our switch harnesses, as you can see, they do not have anything on them. If this, uh, if you're taking your stock bars off, uh, you'll notice that there is a thick uh, black electrical loom covering this whole harness. We like to remove it. Um, it makes the internal wiring process a lot easier. Um, and you know, it just is so big and bulky, it gets hung up and caught. Uh, on the weld penetration and that joint. So we remove it and do a single loop of electrical tape about every four or five inches just to hold the harness together. Um, we haven't had any problems as far as chafing or you know your wires rubbing over time. Um, and we've done thousands and thousands of these. So um, you know we can say that with confidence. Okay, so we're gonna pull through our right throttle side switch harness. I uh, don't recommend making this tape job, you know, bulky. Um, I like to start two or three inches from the end of the harness and just do a nice tight and light tape job. <coughs> you want everything as thin and skinny as possible going through the bar. All right, we like to do a push-pull method here. You're going to push the harness in the bar and just pull the slack out. If you try to just grip it and rip it through the bar, you're going to skin your wires up um, or break a pin off. As you can see here, these go through nicely. If you feel you know, like it's rough inside, it's just going to be some weld penetration. Um, one of our big quality checkpoints is making sure that the parts are deburred good before they're welded together. So you're gonna feed your harness all the way through till it's uh, you know almost bottomed out on the uh, switch housing. We'll remove our tape from the bottom here. <clears throat> now we're gonna back feed our pull wire through the end of the handle so that we can pull our throttle by wire harness through. Just pull your string through. I like to keep the string connected to the pull wire for this reason. Same thing at the bottom, you'll leave about an inch, inch and a half. Same principle here, I like to start about two or three inches from the end of the harness. Nice, tight and light tape job. Keep it all as skinny as possible. All right, same concept. You wanna push the harness through, pull out the slack. If you feel like it's getting hung up, um, back it up a little bit, try to twist the whole harness and give it another shot. Also, you can wiggle the, uh, the switch harness around. Um, sometimes that could be getting caught on it. We'll 
go the, all the way through um, until the end of our pull wire. We're gonna untape it and we will get our pull wire completely out of the way and out of the bar. We've got our pull wire untaped and we're just gonna completely remove it from the bar and we're gonna finish feeding throttle by wire harness through the end of the grip. All right, you want it to bottom out, nest in those grooves. And we're gonna go to the clutch side. Same thing here, we'll blow our string through. Let me clean this up. Same thing here, we'll blow our string through. Pull it through our handle slot. Connect my pull wire, my little knot I've made. Feed it through till you have about an inch. One thing to keep in mind, uh, the way I've got these bars on the table, be very, very careful doing it this way. Uh, you can scuff up, you know, if it's a pointed bar like our Mayhem Bagger or Bison Bagger, uh, you can scuff up the points. This is a little bit newer design. I'll go over all the features and benefits of it when we get it on the bike. All right, same principle here. Start about two or three inches from the end of the harness. Tight and light. Gonna use our push-pull method. Push, pull. Nice and easy. All right, we're gonna untape our harness. All right, let's get our pull wire out of the bar. All right, so we've got all of our harnesses loaded in the bar. Uh, if you have heated grips on the bike, uh, you can refer to my 2014 to 2022 Street Glide install video. Uh, it'll show you how uh, that extra step of pulling the left side uh, heated grip harnesses through the bar. Uh, it'll be the same for the 08 to 13 models. Um, so you can refer to that if you need uh, assistance or you can give us a call. But we're gonna pop our grips on. Um, bolt down our uh, switch housings, and we will start repinning our plugs um, to our terminals. So we're gonna slide our throttle grip on. Our switch housing clamshell. Make sure that on your wiring harnesses that nothing's pinched or in a bind. Um, everything should be seated in that slot nicely. Don't want to crimp a wire there. Get our T25 bolt. Just snug it up. I don't like to tighten it all the way down. I like to do that at the end. All right, go to the other side. All right, these are Avon grips, which we sell online. Uh, they are keyed, so they key into the switch housing. Uh, if it's a stock grip that you're putting back on there, um, number one, you're gonna have to get it off of your stock bar. It's glued on there. Um, and then you'll have to re-glue it uh, to, to your new bars. Um, we like to use Avon grips. Uh, it's good quality product. 
uh, comes with a limited lifetime warranty. If for whatever reason your uh, foam wears out, they'll replace it for a very small fee. Uh, and they're US made. We're gonna button up our T25 bolts. Snug them down a little bit. Make sure that that grip is keyed into the housing. If it's keyed correctly, it'll move the whole assembly. All right, now we're ready to repin um, our wires to our plugs, uh, pull up your diagrams or your pictures, you know, whatever you did to map everything out. Just pull those up, be patient, take your time. Um, you know, make sure everything is, is checked and double checked because once you get everything buttoned up, if you have a wire backwards or a wire that's flipped, it's not easy to get back in there to it. All right, this uh, yellow piece that we took out of the plug, I like to go ahead and don't pop it in there all the way. Just push it into you here a light click. All right, this will make sure when our wires uh, go back in the plug that they go back in straight and uh, you're not fighting with realigning them when you do put that piece back in. So I've got my picture pulled up here that I'm referring to for my wire locations. Like I said, just take your time with this. Don't try to rush through it. You're gonna push your wire in until you hear a light click and you can see the end of the terminal just barely sticking out of that yellow piece inside of the plug. We're just gonna carry on through our map one wire after another. Patient, patient, patient. All right, so I've got all my wires in on the throttle side. Uh, the yellow piece, I'm just gonna push it down and it locks into place. That one is done. I'm gonna do the throttle by wire. That way we can finish up the throttle side completely. Get a good reference on my pictures here. Make sure you got your plug turned the right way and you got the right sleeve. Put my yellow insert just barely in. You'll hear a light click when it gets to that point. You don't want it all the way down. Slide them in till you hear them click. Flip it over. I got it oriented right. Same deal. Slide it in. Light click. All right. Push your yellow piece all the way down. And that is done. All right. To our clutch side. Drop our piece in. Light click. You got your picture references or map, and we're gonna just go through the same thing. Patient, patient, patient. Some of these wires, uh, the base color is the same. They just may have a, like a gray line or a purple line. So when you're taking your pictures, uh, just make sure that you can see that in the photo. Um, I've done it before and you take a picture of it and it just looks like two white wires. Well, you know, it, at that point it just was guess and check. So when you're doing that, just make sure you can see, you know, what's what. Here, light click. All right, so we got that plug done, same deal. We're gonna push our yellow piece down Click into play. All right, and we are ready to mount these on the bike now.